has a wall splat on the way. Uh, never seen that conversion, but you got it. Meaty fireball on the way, plus friends. You have to hold all of it. Your driving is running out. He's gonna push the issue and continue to do so. The oppression is real. Fancy Badger living in poverty right now. One round to go until they make their way to the loser's bracket. You know, they nerfed Luke Crouch Medium Punch and then said, what if Akuma had it? Yeah, they gave it to someone else. <laughs> Just sorry, like, yeah, man. Sorry, boss. Yeah, Luke, we know you're on the cover, but I mean, Akuma has a uh, he has a uh, built up equity. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. He has, he has built up credit. You know, we we, we got to give him something. He called in a favor. Like we gotta we gotta give it to him. Oh, the tech throw setup, getting at least one of that Fenchway going, respecting the air fireball this time. Uh, depending on the spacing, you can walk under it, find a key anti air that I know we know Jury has. How far are you taking this? Choosing to back off. I love that little spacing trap. Like always making sure that little evil is gonna react to the walk up and then finding a huge punish afterward. Game three. Yeah, Fancy Badger has found themselves like really getting snowballed in a lot of situations, especially right here in the corner. And it's unfortunate that the momentum kind of just gets, you know, taken away from them in such a big way. But this is a very big way to get the momentum back for you. Uh, Feng Shui Engine. Level two, not the wall spike, but trying to get away from the drive meter. And yes, the combo's continuing. Yes, make them think about it. Do we get a wall spike? No, not quite yet. You gotta keep this distance. You gotta make sure you turtle them into the corner. They do have reversal in the form of level three or level two, but not gonna be found here. Great counter hit coming out from Fancy Badger. We have a game. All right. Yeah. An excellent combo to convert, and I loved the use of drive impact mid combo. Stripping away the drive gauge is half the battle because it functions effectively like a second health bar. Like, being able to put your opponent in burnout is just as important as being able to set up some of these judo loops and get the ODDP right out of there. Again, always anticipating Fancy Badger to walk up first before taking a step back and still putting yourself in range of some of these DPs. Uh -oh. a good overhead. Yeah, you got to keep the pressure up. And I love this from Fancy Badger, the fact that they understood the game plan. Like, hey, Akuma is a low health character, bro. Oh, yeah. And, and, and scared money don't make money. So go over there, get in his face, man. Show him that you're not going to be oppressed, because that's really where Lil Evil has been cooking over here in the corners. Yeah, Jerry's so powerful in a lot of those because her her dash is insane on top of her step back being just as potent. And uh, you want to see how to do an infinite? <laughs> Wow, and you really got taken. You really got a first, a first class take it to the other side. And you're getting hit again, bro. Not accounting for the mid and not protecting your toes as well. Great combo showing out here from Fancy Badger. And did you get that? Oh, my God. That was from a yard and a half away. Getting a final hit. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, Finally, the throw not being represented yet. But run up. Get done up. Fancy Badger with the DP and... Man, Fancy Badger turned that around quick, fast, and in a hurry. Well done. Well very, done. Very